Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Steve. Welcome back. Today on iMovie Tutorial Part 5 of 6, we're going to talk about a few things. Today, we're going to talk about how to add transitions, titles, backgrounds, audio, and how to zoom in and zoom out on your video. You know that cool feature when someone's talking like I am now, and then my face is kind of like here, and then it's back. I'll put that transition in right there. Well, technically, that's not a transition, but we'll talk about it today, and I'll show you how to do it. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. I'll link some other videos up top here and at the end of the video. All right, let's get to the Mac. Now that we're in iMovie, I'll show you how to add audio, titles, backgrounds, transitions, and that cool effect where you could zoom in while you're talking. So let's start with audio. For the purpose of this video, I've just added five pictures to um, this video's intro, actually. So I'll use these five pictures to show you how to use these features. They're all fairly simple, and they're all right here on the top of this toolbar next to My Media. So if you want to add audio, say, to the back of these pictures, you'd click on Audio. It'll default to Music, and this will show you all of the music that's in your iTunes library. I don't currently have my hard drive connected to be able to use any of this music, and also, this is obviously music you can't use because it'll get flagged and muted and you'll be demonetized if you have that option in YouTube. So you wouldn't want to use this music anyway. But if you had stock music and you had it in your iTunes library, then you could search for your stock music and add it. For this, I'll just go to sound effects. And they're really short clips. So I'll just find one that's pretty long. So ambient effect number two. If this is what I wanted to use, it's really simple. You just click on it, hold it, and drag it. And that's pretty much it. For any type of music you wanna add, you just click it and drag it down here. And then once you hit play, the music will play. That is how you add music or audio. So let's get rid of that. We'll hit Command Z to get rid of this. Now I want to show you how to use titles. Titles are obviously text on the screen um, whenever you want to place it there, whether it's in the beginning of one of your sections, if you want to intro it, um, if you're doing like a step-by-step, -step, like I kind of am, and I wanted to section it off, I would just use any one of these titles and add text so you guys know this is where this particular portion of the video begins. And again, this is another thing that's really simple. And to do it, it's exactly the same for all of them. So I'll just pick one. We'll say chromatic lower third. If I want this title over this picture, it's the same as adding audio. Just click on it, hold it, and drag it. And it'll snap into place wherever you wanna put it. So I want it there. So when I play my video, the picture will show and the title will show. Now, I obviously don't want it to say title text here. So what you need to do is once you have it placed in your timeline on your picture, you just click into this portion here that you just dragged down, double click it, and now you can enter your text. So I could say test text for video, hit enter or return. And now go back to your timeline, hit play, and now your text is there where you just put in. And you could add as many as you want if you want this particular chromatic lower third on this one, but on the picture of the leaf, you want lined lower third, then you could do that too. Just click on this one, drag it down, and then edit your text. Hit return, and now you'll have the first text that you placed here, which was chromatic lower third, and for your next picture, you'll have line lower third. And that's the easy way to add titles. And now we can go into backgrounds. Backgrounds, I've never really used them. I've actually never used them. I assume you would want to use, say, curtain or organic if you're using a green screen maybe, if you're recording your video on a green screen and then you want this to be behind you instead of like, you know, you could put anything you want pretty much if you're using a green screen. That's what I think backgrounds are for. And backgrounds operate exactly the same way as a picture. 
you would just pick the background you want and drag it down. It's pretty much literally a picture. So remember I have these five pictures in there and then I hit play, it'll just go right up to the background. And I assume if you have video and you use the green screen option, your face will be, you know, in front of the background. And then just like any picture, you could still go up to the top and add a title. And you could drag a title onto a background, add whatever you want it to say. And then now you have text over a background, which actually is kind of cool for like, if you want to use an intro, if like you want a background before your audio comes in. So before I actually start talking here, I could throw in a background with the title of the video and then my video will come in. So that's pretty cool. So that is how you add a background. And now I'll show you how to use transitions. Transitions is when you have either a video or a picture or a video, you know, here I have four videos. So anything between can be a transition or five pictures in a row. Anything in between can be a transition. As it stands right now, it just goes from one picture to the next, no transition. To add a transition, simple. You go to the top and you click on transitions. And here you have about 26, I think. And yeah, it's the same as adding anything else. You take it, click on it, hold it, drag it down to your timeline. So say I wanna add a transition between this car wheel and this leaf. I want it to say, I want it to spin out like this. That's the example in the screen right there. That's what it's gonna do. I just click on spin out, hold it, drag it right in between. And that's literally all you have to do. Now when you play your timeline, instead of going straight to the next picture, it'll have a transition. Just like that. And the same for all of them. If I wanted to wipe to the left, I select wipe left, drag it down, play, and now it just wipes to the next picture. If I want mosaic, same thing, drag it in between your picture, play, and now it does a mosaic into your next picture. And since I have one more, why not? We'll say swap, drag it between, hit play, and there's your transition. Super, super simple. The last thing I wanna teach you is not in this menu bar up here. The last piece is zooming on your face or on anything in particular in a video or a picture. So what I wanna do, I'll use this video as an example where I'm just talking. You won't hear me talk, I have it on mute. So, you know, talking, 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 talking. If I want to zoom in on my face, we'll say, okay, I wanna zoom in right here. What I would do is stop the clip where I want the zoom in to start and then go to modify, split clip. Then I want to split the clip where I want it to come back to normal. So say I want it for like one, two, three, four, stop. I want it for about four seconds. Now this is where I want the zoom to go back to normal. So I go back to modify, split clip. So this is the clip I just split, this three second portion. This is what I want to zoom. So once this portion of the video is done, I want it to zoom in on my face and then go back to normal here. So I click on the portion I want zoomed in and now it's highlighted in yellow. Now we go back up to this menu bar here, click on this cropping. I have it defaulted to fit. I obviously wanna to crop to fill. Click on crop to fill. And now you'll have your drag bars. So pick any corner you want and then drag it in as small as you want. And then just move the box. It'll show you yellow grid lines. This is telling me that this box is perfectly in the center. So say that's where I want it. That is the zoom in that I want. Now I just hit return, zoomed in, go back to my timeline. We'll play the clip before, bang, zoom in. Now I'm talking, 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 bang, zoom back out. And that's how easy it is to zoom in on your face. 
And that's how you add audio, titles, backgrounds, transition, and how to zoom in on your video in iMovie. I hope you guys like this. Coming up next, I'll teach you guys how to export. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Let me know what you think. Add any comments. Like I said, I love every question you guys ask me and I really enjoy answering them. So I'll see you on the next video. Later, guys.